Hey, boo. <laughs> Holy child, it is a time in the land. Mm, mm, mm. Girl, how y'all doing on hump day? Also known as Wednesday, okay? Now, I know that, you know, let's just clear the, the elephant, okay, that's in the room right now, okay? Now, Oh, okay. <laughs> no, but for real though, because you know, the reason why I stopped and looked like that because you know, I said, let's, you know, clear the elephant in the room. And I'm, I was not talking about um, why. Okay. All right. <laughs> no, but for real though. Okay. So the reason what I'm doing right now is I'm using peroxide and I'm cleaning off my hand because, okay, let's start with this. Um, I'm doing a new makeup look tomorrow on my Makeup for Dummies channel here on YouTube. For those of you who are new, girl, welcome, but you got to catch up, girl, and keep up, girl, because I be moving fast up on this piece. <laughs> no, but for real, though, if you are new, welcome. Make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell, girl, next to, you know, the, the subscribe button so that you will be notified, girl, when I upload videos, girl, and that way you do not have to come try to find me, girl. I will find you, okay, right in your email, okay? Inbox, right in your channel feed, girl. Girl, bye. <laughs> no, but uh, for real though. Okay, so the makeup look that I'm going to be doing tomorrow is going to be called Red Devil Black Intentions, okay? Now, I'm cleaning off swatches, okay? I was doing swatches of... Um, some reds uh, that I had because even though I have, you know, I think I have a, a nice amount of, of uh, makeup palettes, but for some reason, they don't have red, okay? I, I, I mean, I looked through all my palettes. I only had one that had red in it, and that was the, the one that had the 250 uh, color um, palette that I have that I've shown before on this channel, but girl, anyway, so I was doing swatches, so I'm wiping it off because I don't want y'all, you know, to, to, to see what's going on, and I was swatching it here, and then I was testing it to see if it really came off red, because sometimes you can test things here, and then it'd be different when you put it here, because I know that I've gotten a tan over the summer, and I know that my face and all that stuff is, is darker than here. So I tested it here just to make sure it was red, and then I had to test it on my eyes. And I didn't feel like, you know, wiping all of that off. So, um, and I tested out, you know, a few of my red lipsticks because I have several because I just wanted to, you know, usually I, I freehand, you know, my makeup looks and my colors of the day. But like I said, I don't have a lot of red to choose from. So I really had to, you know, and I didn't want to be on camera trying to figure that out and taking up time. So Red Devil, Black Intentions, tomorrow on my Makeup for Dummies channel. You can go over there now, subscribe. That way, girl, when I upload that Red Devil, Black Intentions, girl, you will be notified, girl. I'm just trying to tell you. So I am excited about that look. But um, like I said, because I was testing out the colors, um, I didn't want you all to see it. And like I said, I didn't want to make wipe off my makeup. So the only thing, and I had a red lipstick on, but I just went on and covered it. I didn't even take it off. I just took a blue, the dark blue that I had, and just went right over top of it. So y'all, I didn't want y'all to have no idea up now. You might see some red blush, but y'all don't know what it is. And y'all, you know, y'all, y'all will see, okay? But um, yeah, I didn't want y'all to see it. And I, like I said, it's, it's late. I'm here late. If you hear noise, um, if you watch my last Makeup for Dummies look, I think it was called Sky Blue Baby Blues uh, Makeup Look. Um, there was a lot of noise in the background and I had explained. I don't think I ever told y'all over here. They have um, professional wrestlers that they rent a space um, in the basement to practice. And they actually come on TV. They are professional wrestlers. So they actually rent a space here in this building. So after a certain time of the evening is when they come in and they practice and you hear a whole bunch of them, you know, lifting each other up and boom and all of the noise. Um, and so um, if you hear that noise, that's what it is. I'm here late tonight. I'm trying to get out of here. So that's why, so that's why I'm wearing the sunshade. Because I didn't want y'all to see what was going on. But I'm trying to, you know, be shady. Because I'm not shady. I'm not a shady person. I don't beg and all that kind of stuff. Try to get over on people and all that kind of stuff and everything like that and all that. 
So, <laughs> and usually, girl, if I, if I come on here with my shades on, girl, or I put my shades on in the process of, you know, recording, okay, girl, I'm about to get somebody all the way together, okay? All the way together, because, you know, people, you know, try to say that my vocabulary is limited, Okay, but uh, in, in all actuality, it is not limited. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> I was just joking around. But anyway, so um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to like the colors are very pigmented, pigmented. So, um, you know, it's hard to kind of to get them off. And like I said, I didn't want to be trying to scrub that stuff off my eyes and stuff. And so I just went on and kept it on and just said I'll just wear shades and explain why, why I am wearing my shades. Now, speaking of begging, like I don't beg and all, because I don't, I don't beg. You know, if, if I want something, I ask. If, I, if I'm if i offering you to, you know, give me anything, it's, it's a choice. It's not begging. It's just asking. But um, the reason why I'm talking about that is because, okay, I was on Facebook this morning, about six something this morning, and this little message had popped up in my little um feed as soon as i got on facebook this morning it says i'm just paraphrasing what it says somehow hey demetria you know we know you have a birthday coming up because for those of you who don't know i'm a scorpio and my birthday is coming up soon and they said you know we know that you you have a birthday coming up soon and we we wanted to i'm gonna tell you what they said just in summary they said if you would like to donate your birthday it says something about, you know, donating your birthday. And I was like, donating my birthday? What does that mean? Well, anyway, what it is, is they just said in honor of your birthday, you know, you can set up some kind of, um, if you wanted to donate to a nonprofit organization and they gave you a list of nonprofit organizations, you know, that, that, of your choice. And, you know, they would say it was something to that effect. If you go on my Facebook page, Demetria Wilson, then you will see, you'll be able to read it because that's what I was presented with. Now, let me just explain this because I don't want nobody trying to come over here under my comment section under no fake name. OK, trying to get me all the way together, talking about I'm begging and all that. OK, first of all, OK, I am not asking for any body to send me any donations in reference to this nonprofit organization okay the nonprofit organization that I chose off the list it was it was St. Jude's okay but let me give you like the full name it's called St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital okay so for those of you who are not familiar with St. Jude's um it's a children's hospital for children who have cancer okay now that that resonates with me because you know, for, if you've been following me for a while, you already know. But if not, you know, y'all, the ones that know, know. But my son was di diagnosed with nasal pharyngeal, nasal pharyngeal carcinoma when he was 16 years old. And, um, you know, he's been free of it ever since 2008. Um, and this is 2017. So, yay for that. But anything concerning children and cancer or anything like that, I try to donate to. So I'm very fond of um, St. Jude. Is and You probably even seen it on commercials on TV. And it's, it's like a very, it, it's so nice because what it is, is if you don't have, ins if you don't have health insurance, you can take your child to be treated for whatever cancer they have at this hospital and you will never receive a bill. The, all the donations that they get for, from all the, the very kind-hearted, nice people is what covers the cost. So you will never, ever get a bill. So if you're in a situation and, God forbid, you get news that your child has cancer and you don't have insurance and, you know, all that, St. Jude will take your child, treat them well, and you will never get a bill. Well, anyway, um, so that's the, the, the um, when they listed the nonprofit, that's the one that I chose. Now... When you donate, let me just let me just clear this up and specify. You are not donating to my PayPal, okay? You're not donating to my personal PayPal. You're not donating to any PayPal that I have set up in in honor of St. Jude's or any of that kind of stuff, okay? When you donate, it goes to whatever PayPal they set up for this St. Jude's uh, hospital uh, research uh, situation. 
and it goes straight to that and then you know it goes from there i never see touch it's not like the money come to me and then i'm telling you all i'm i'm you know raising money and then i'm supposed to take the money and then turn it over i'm not receiving anything so don't look at it on my facebook and think that I'm trying to raise some money and I'm trying to be slick and I'm trying to, you know, claiming I'm raising money, you know, for, for St. Jude, but yet it's going in my pocket, you know, to pay my rent girl for my office space girl slash studio girl. Okay. I would not steal from y'all to pay my rent here. Okay. No, but seriously, the money, I don't have nothing to do with the money. The PayPal link that you will always see in my description box, that is my personal PayPal. And that's for, and it tells you plainly, you know, if you, you know, if you like what I do here up on YouTube and you want to show your love and appreciation um, through, you know, financial means, then by all means, you can donate and send it through my PayPal. That's what my PayPal is about, okay? Um, I don't have any PayPal set up for, you know, fake fundraisers and all of that. So I'm just clearing that up. You see that on my Facebook. Um, and it was saying, you know, share uh, the post with your friends to try to get people to donate. So I just wanted to let you all know this is not for my pocket and I'm not collecting anything. Whatever you donate, it goes straight to the St. Jude uh, to help try to find a cure uh, for, for all the different cancers that children get. OK, um, cancer, you usually think of cancer as affecting older people. But no, some kids are born with cancer diagnosis. OK, so it, it's very sad. But like, I really love the fact that you can take your child there, have them treated and not have to worry about finances or bills, you know, large hospital bills. Like it, it's just a wonderful type situation. OK, so. I wanted to go ahead and explain and let y'all know, girl, I am not begging, girl, up on the YouTube streets, girl, or up on the Facebook streets, girl. I am not doing that. <laughs> okay. Now, so, moving on, okay? Got my little notes here because I wanted to try to remember what I wanted to talk about. Okay, so look forward to that tomorrow. Red Devil, Black Intentions. Girl, bye. I'm so excited about that, girl. Ooh, girl, because I love red. And, you know, red is like sexy and fierce and you know like hot you know like I, I just love red now red believe it or not is not my favorite color but actually blue is my favorite color and midnight blue to be exact okay but um and ironically you know I'm wearing blue but but I love red okay now initially let me just show y'all this okay now y'all if you know like I said I don't know if you're new or not I don't know if you follow my uh makeup for dummies channel or not but one of the videos that I did over on my Makeup for Dummies channel recently, um, I, it was called a nail hack um, skin tag removal video. And I showed a nail hack, how you could, if you are a person that do press on nails like I do. Now, these are old. It's time for them to come off. Um, but if you're a person that do press ons, then I was showing an easy way where you could get your nails polished, get them completely dried before you actually press them on. So, what I have here, Lord, my, my glasses is trying to fall. Now, I do have my prescription glasses on underneath of these because, girl, I need to see, okay? While I'm being shady, I need to see for real, okay? But, anyway, so this is what this is. If you go over and check that video out, you'll see, you know, how I did this and all. So, these are the nails that fit, you know, here. Now, originally, yesterday when I was on my way out the door, I told y'all that I was going to be using... This uh, is called Totally Teal. I couldn't see what the name of it was yesterday by Savvy. Okay, this is the, the color that I had chose. And it's called Totally Teal. But I figured, after I thought about it, can y'all see that? I figured that being as though I'm doing this Red Devil Black Intentions look, it would be awesome to have red nails on. Okay, so I picked another color today when I came in here. Now, this is a LA Colors gel polish. It has gel-like shine to it, and it is called Fierce, okay? Here's the color, okay? This is, you know, what all it says on there, and it's called Fierce. Hopefully, I hope I ain't shaking it up too much, but Fierce. So, that's what I'm going to be doing here. And I'm actually going to take this home with me and let it dry 
you know, because I need to put these on tonight because I would prefer putting my nails on at night. I've done it in the day before, but my preference is nighttime. And, um, you know, I've explained before why I would prefer doing them uh, at night as opposed to any other time. Um, so not only did I do a nail hack showing, you know, how I got these nails on here and what it's on and all that. But, and I, you know, I was doing just what I'm doing now. I'll link that video below. But also, I went on to my, one of my other YouTube channels called um, uh, Sleepy Time ASMR. And I actually showed how I actually put the nails on. So I did the hack on my Makeup for Dummies channel. And then on my Sleepy Time ASMR channel, after they were completely dry, the next day, I actually showed you all how I put them on. And I think I had explained why I would prefer doing them at night or why it would be better to do them at night. On one of those videos, I said it. So I'll link both of those videos below. So I'm just going to do this while I'm talking to you all because I need for these to, to start the drying process um, before I even walk out the door because um, I need to put these on tonight. Okay, so that's what I'm doing while I am talking to you all. Okay, 16 minutes. I need to hurry up. Okay, now, um, I know I've been talking to you all a lot about pH balance, drinking plenty of water. Um, now, I'm not doing too good on my water today. I try to drink at least one and a half to two of these. Um, this is a little thing because, like, if your bottle was cold, you can put this on there. Cricket. I got this from Cricket. They had, like, a booth. Um, one time we went to the... Um, the canal side and they had a booth set up and they were giving away trying to solicit people to come get phones through their service and they gave these little cup things well anyway um and this is 32 ounces i try to drink at least one and a half to two of these per day this is what i've drank today i'm supposed to be on my other part so i have this much left um, I still haven't eaten dinner yet because I'm, of course, I'm here. But when I go home, I'm going to eat dinner, which I'll probably get. I'll probably try to finish this before I get home and then put about this much water in it and, um, you know, drink that with dinner. And then I beat and got it in. But um, this was given to me as love mail from uh, one of the one of the lovely YouTubers up here on YouTube named Lovely Leah. Actually, she has another name. Lovely Fat Vegan. She changed her name. It was Lovely Lay, and then she changed it to Lovely Lovely Fat Vegan. Okay. Um, she had sent me some love mail like a year or so ago and included in the she gave me like tons of you know makeup, jewelry, and included in that was this. It's um a pH balance, pH balance tester. Um, in the strips. It's almost like taking a pregnancy test test you pee you dip the strip down in, in the urine and they have like a chart okay let me just open it real quick i hope this don't cut off um they have a chart and whatever color the strip turns you you line the strip up and see which color it is and it has a number and it, and it tells you where your number needs to be so if it's between a certain thing then your ph balance is fine if not then it's you know it's off or whatever so I just thought since I've been talking about pH balance and all that kind of stuff lately that I would uh, show y'all this. I have no idea where she got this from, um, but it's, it's very convenient, okay? Um, also, what I'm going to do tonight, because I'm going to be prepared for the Makeup for Dummies uh, video tomorrow, um, I'm going to do a facial scrub tonight to make sure I have a clean canvas by, cl uh, by uh, Clean and Clear. I love their products, okay? And I have a moisturizer by Clean and Clear, so I'm just I'm going to do this. Scrub in the morning, and I'm going to use that clean and clear moisturizer. But this is, you know, and I'm going to do a lip scrub because I want my lips girl to be girl to be free from any kind of skin or wrinkles or anything, girl, because my lips is just going to be hot, okay? So I have a homemade lip scrub. Um, I've done that on my channel too, on my Makeup for Dummies channel, showing you how to make a lip scrub, blah, blah, blah. I'll try to link that video below if I can find it. Um, so I'm going to do my homemade lip scrub to get my lips in order, girl, so I can just be prepared for y'all, girl. I'm just going to be ready for y'all. And also, lovely Leah, when she sent me that little package, she sent me a, it's a blush. It's by e.l.f. And it's not like your regular blushes. Most blushes are powdery. This is a liquid blush. So you put it on highly pigmented. Oh, it has a little pump. You put it on. And look how pigmented that is. 
this is a blush, but you know, and it's and it's like I said, it's it's like a cream. But if you well, that was probably that was way too much. All you need is a dab, and then you blend it in really good. But this is a beautiful pink um blush. Look at that. And it's a pump. Like I've never seen a blush like this until she sent it to me. And chow, I don't know if y'all remember when I had a big bag of blue gumballs and on my other channel called Juicy Tingles where I eat and do ASMR and all that kind of stuff. If you don't know what ASMR means, girl, uh, Google it. <laughs> but no, I actually have, um, you know what, this is really getting too long and um, I got to go. And so I, I, I have things written down. So whenever, you know, if I end the video and I say I have so much to talk to y'all about, it's coming. It's coming, okay? But yeah, blue blue gumball. So let me finish this. Um, hit subscribe, like I said. Make sure you go over to my Facebook page. Check out the St. Jude Research um, fundraiser thing. And um, make sure you hit the notification bell. Check out Makeup for Dummies. Check out Sleepy Time ASMR. Check out Juicy Tingles. Just check out all my channels. All my stuff will be listed in the description box, okay? And girl, I got to go with my shady self. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But girl, bye. I got to go. Girl, happy Wednesday and have a good one. Goodbye.